Hello and welcome to What's New in Tennis. It's Friday the 24th of February 2017 and we're here at the Tennis Gallery in Wimbledon. Today we're going to talk about Bud Collins, uh, the late Bud Collins who sadly passed away last year but he's got a new book out, we're going to talk about that and look at his life and some of his other books. This is the new book, it's called The Bud Collins History of Tennis, an authoritative encyclopedia and record book. Uh, this has been out in several previous editions and the early editions went under the title of The Bud Collins Encyclopedia of Tennis. It's an excellent book and we're going to look at it in more depth in just a moment. But let's quickly look at two or three of Bud's earlier books just to give you an idea of what he's done before. Firstly, The Education of a Tennis Player, which he co-wrote with Rod Laver in 1971. It's uh, part autobiography, part psychological coaching. Moving on, the next one in line is Yvonne, the Yvonne Goudagong story, which Bud co-wrote with Yvonne Goudagong in 1975, uh, four years after she produced a shot victory at the Wimbledon Championships as a 19-year-old. And finally, uh, moving along to the Bud Collins book My Life with the Pros, which he wrote and published in 1989, which is autobiographical, in which Bud, Bud talks about his life as a journalist and broadcaster and basically he shares some of his anecdotes and story over a long life in stories over a long life in tennis so let's take a look inside this great new book it's organized in five sections uh, the first one being tennis year by year from the invention of the game in 1874 right through to the present it goes right up to the end of 2015 uh, section two is all about the majors the grand slam tournaments Section 3 covers the Davis Cup and the Fed Cup. Section 4 is a comprehensive set of player biographies with pictures of the players. And Section 5 is all about the ATP and WTA tours. Let's just take a quick look at a couple pages just to see what it's like visually inside. Firstly, turning the page to 1949, there's gorgeous Gussie Moran who wore lace panties and shocked the Wimbledon Centre Court crowd, as it was easy to do in those days. And finally, just to look inside at this one of the records sections, this concerns Wimbledon as well. This is how they present the information about people with the most titles, with the most victories, the longest matches, shortest matches, highest winning percentage, most matches won, most tournaments played. And they do this for each of the Grand Slams. Uh, and that's basically what the book is like. There are lots of black and white photographs, but it's mainly masses and masses of information. For those of you who may not know too much about Bud Collins, um, he was famous as a writer and tennis commentator in the US, uh, and also famous for his flamboyant trousers, which he always wore various outrageous trousers whenever he did a broadcast or went to a tennis event. Um, he worked on the Boston Globe newspaper yeah, through from the 1960s through to you know the early part of this century uh, he also was tennis correspondent and commentator for NBC in the United States for 35 years up to 2007 uh, he's one of the best known characters in the tennis world and his writing is greatly respected by everyone thank you for watching this edition of what's new in tennis hope you can join us again next time cheerio For related content and articles, check out the Tennis Gallery Wimbledon app on Apple and Android.